everyone welcome to my channel Nicklinks. In this video I am going to explain you what are the uses of Postman in Laravel, uh, what is Postman and how it is used to check your various APIs with the help of get method, post method and what are the uses of put method. So let's start with the uh, concepts of Postman. So Postman is basically your API interface. Uh, you can say it's a development tool that is usually built to test or you can say to build or to modify APIs. So uh, in today's time, uh, you have seen that all the major projects that are working uh, that are connected with one uh, like multiple APIs at the backend because uh, in the front end, uh, there are the React framework that is working in the back end. Laravel is working. So with the help of APIs, uh, the front end frameworks are getting data from the back end frameworks. And in this way, all the communication is being passed. So in order to test your uh, whatever uh, your application is there, if you want to test that application with the help of APIs, so uh, this is the best you can say platform to check your API. Over 5 million developers every month is uh, use Postman for checking the API. So let's start how to make an API in Postman. So first of all, uh, you need to download the Postman uh, from the uh, like Google. If you, you can just write uh, download Postman and it will be taking you to the URL and from that URL you can just download and after downloading you can just install this Postman and it will be looking like this uh, window that is being opened in your front of your screen. So here the plus button is there so I need to uh, click on a plus button so it's uh, like giving me an untitled request uh, that contains the get and the various post method or uh, the delete method. So uh, we are going to uh, first of all check a simple add method uh, how you can check your, uh, your built in API with the help of po uh, this postman and how to check it into your Laravel project. So let's start with that. Uh, I have a project uh, like with me that is uh, uh, here I am having an API. So this is the project named Laravel Slavers and here uh, the routes folder is there in the route folder api.php folder api.php file is there. So here I'm going to create my URL of this API. So this is a by default uh, you can say the code that is being generated when I have created my Laravel project. So here I'm going to define a root name root should be a post because the form will always be sent in a post form a post request so form submit is the url that i am going to make and basically it will be going in your uh, we have an api in the app folder in the app folder that is http and the controllers and here is the api folder so here my api controller comes so uh, I need to follow the whole path that is API uh, that is API and followed by I need the API controller followed by uh, we can in the API controller we have to hit a function name as form summit. So uh, in, in the postman, we will be creating an API that will be uh, like targeting in this, uh, this form submit URL and that URL in Laravel will be taking me to API folders, API controller, the API into my API controller folder. Uh, in the API controller, uh, you can say controller and in the API controller, it will be executing my form submit method. So let's uh, like build up a form submit method over here. So public function should be a form submit. Uh, to get a form, we need a request method. So uh, request object. So request object, and I'm going to create 
add equals to new student is a model that I have created. Let's uh, I have a look on that model. So in the app, uh, there is a student model which I have created earlier and uh, it is connected to a table named student uh, that is my database name is Laravel basic and table is student. If you want to learn the basics of Laravel uh, into my in my playlist folder, in the playlist of my channel like clicks uh, you can uh, like search for the laravel tutorial and you can follow all the uh, the basic and the advanced part of the tutorial before coming to this postman so i have a laravel basic database and that database i have created a table named student so student is a table and now i'm going to just like in the api controller i have created an add method so i'm going to check if if request is method is method is post so post method is there so i need with the help of add i need to just like check my first underscore name equals to a uh, request should be get Uh, we have a variable name as first name so I can just like copy make a copy of four uh, like I can just put here as last name the course and the address part so here uh, the field names it should be a last name this is a form fields and this is the database it's a table fields so course and the last one is address so course and address uh, i'm skipping the gender and image field for right now so here i'm going to say as with the help of add object i will be calling the save function and if it is uh, like being saved then it will be returning a response it should be a json response so there is a particular format uh, for the json so it will be returning a response that will be having your uh, this one message. It should be a message that student student record inserted. So and uh, we can just here like. So this is a message that will be uh, like once the data has been saved, it will be uh, giving a message as a res return response JSON. It should be a message with the, uh, the student record inserted. So this was all about uh, what I have done into my API controller and as well as the, I have defined the URL over here. So now it's the action of my postman so moving to my postman in the postman i have to, uh, because i have created a post uh, like post request so i need to create uh, here the post url so post url and i need to call it as uh, http so localhost uh, my project name is laravel this laravel syllabus so after laravel syllabus i need to call as i need to call as the api because uh, right now it is in the api uh, api folder so and the api root is there so here i need to call as form submit so I need to pass the parameters along with this. Uh, the first parameter is my first name. So first name uh, will be the, my key and the value is let's say John. Say last name is, should be Joe and first name last name and the course should be it should be graduation and the last one is your address address should be uh, let's say uh, something uh, uh, we can say 
a b c x y z so this is the parameter that i have defined because these all parameters need to be passed when i am going to submit my form so whenever you are going to uh, like uh, make a parameters all parameters will be assigned over here although it is uh, defining as a question mark query string but here we need to specify it as a if you want to send this uh, like uh, your a request as a post method or you want to send it as a get as a get method so let's just check it that we have created a route uh, with the form submit and the api api controller in the api controller it's a form submit method here my api controller has been existing in the api uh, folder and in the api folder there is a method called api controller and in the api controller it's the form submit method has been created and then the form submit method so in the form submit method i have uh, like student request post first name last name post address and uh, so it looks pretty fine so i'm going to click on a send button so here the send button has been like it's uh, could not send request is the response also get that info so there is a mistake of local host uh, it's a local host the l was missing over here so again it's sending so let's say the message has been displayed that the student record is inserted so let's check into your database that whether my student record has been inserted into your database or not so if i'm going to click on a browse method so here my record has been inserted with the help of postman so here the John and the last name is Joe and the course I have taken up a graduation and the address I have taken your uh, like ABC XYZ. So in this way you can just like create your uh, the request of your post and you can just check your that your value that your data is been inserting or not into your database with the help of your uh, like uh, post. So moving to the next part, let's uh, uh, you can say the we can just uh, display the record over here. So I am going to create a route uh, that is going to display. Uh, so it's a get. So we can say here display from Chata and it is going to take me to API API controller so api controller and in the api controller it is going to take me to a display method so display method uh, the api api controller and the display method so in the api controller i'm going to create a method with the name uh, display form uh, with a method name as display so let's create a function with the math uh, a function in the api controller with the uh, the display so public function it should be a display and in the display we can just say here as uh, we can take a variable students so student uh, it should be a get so get uh, we can say to json because every data has been coming in the json form so to json and uh, there is a uh, you can say a function or a constant so js print it is going to like uh, print your data into into the json format so return response it should be uh, the response should be returned as students so uh, here is my display method so i have created a route that is display form data that is a get method uh, the route is your get so uh, route get is the display form data it is going to take me to the api api controller and the display method so here my display method is also been like uh, comes into action so in the display method i have taken up a students variable and with the help of student model, uh, I'm going to get all the data uh, and that data is going to convert into JSON and it is being printed over here. So let's check uh, whether it's working or not. So <clears throat> I'm going to go in the uh, postman and uh, in the form API. So here my is display form data the route is get i need to change this to the get method 
So in the get method, I'm going to check here as display form data. So localhost, Laravel servers, and the API and the display form data. So I need to uh, click on a send method. So when I'm going to click on a send method, so all the records that are being uh, like inserted into my database that are being displayed over here. So these are the 11th IT. So we have 11 records with me. So all the records are being displayed into your Postman. It means my display form is working very well. So this was all about your insert and display data with the help of Postman. And I hope you like my video. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest updates. And because I'm going to upload uh, the another video of Postman in which I'm going to like uh, like create, uh, you can just delete and edit your data. You can check your like delete and edit APIs are working well or not. So do subscribe to my channel for getting all the notification and uh, don't forget to click on the uh, like bell icon. And uh, thanks for watching my video. Do like and share my video. Thank you.